I have strong memories of making things age five and six and the things that were trying to be things, not just kind of free play. And yeah, mum began making pots late in, very late in her life really. So there was someone making in the family, on the kitchen table quite often, or in front of the television. And so I think I just soaked that up. Even though I didn't think much of what she did, but I, you know, I've turned into her. I got into, I got into it so that I could go surfing. I really did. It seemed to be a good merger to be a potter and to surf because I could, I was in complete control of my time. When I worked with Mambo Dare, the director really encouraged like social commentary, shit stirring. And so the stuff I started doing for them, the two things started to feed off one another a bit. And, and I think it gave me license to start putting other kinds of stuff onto the surface of pots. During the 80s and 90s, I had friends that were painters and photographers and stuff, and they, always, you know, they were, would always kind of harp on about, oh, you should just do this on a canvas and you can make this much money from it and all, and all that kind of thing, but it never made, it, it just wouldn't have seemed honest. When we decided the kind of room, the scale of the room and all of that, I also had in the back of my mind the whole time uh, buildings like Watts Towers, uh, where the guy, that Italian guy, spent 35 years making this weird, giant, Gaudi-esque thing for his wife. The, yeah, I guess the, the idea of a building being a conglomeration of things. It was a production line, and you, you just start relying on old methods, old images, old... There's also like a huge um, file back there of books and whatever. And again, they're shared things. That's kind of how it grew. You, you know, you just feel really lucky to be able to just be somewhere safe, being able to do what you want to do as well. And, do, you know, doing a project like this, funnily enough, that reminds you of that. When I started to think about it more, I thought about it as my, my kind of shelter or something. And I, I was quite nervous about the whole thing. And I taught, there was this friend who's a really good potter from Melbourne. And I said, I didn't, I'm not sure what to do, but I think, and he said, you just got to make it as Jerry wet as you can. Like, 